Hello and welcome to Witness. I'm Raggy Omar. Iraq is described as the cradle of civilization, and with good reason. Its civilization dates back thousands of years. The Assyrians and the Sumerians, the original inhabitants of Iraq, gave us astronomy, algebra, and the first written language. So the looting of priceless art and artifacts that reflect this rich cultural heritage that took place after the American invasion is a tragedy of world importance. It's not just Iraq's past civilization which has been wrecked by the invasion and war. The future of Iraqi culture is also under threat. Iraqi artists and philosophers are caught up in the desperate struggle simply to survive. Many have chosen to live in exile. Filmmaker Christine Garabedian's documentary, Stolen Dreams, tells the story of Iraqi artists forced to abandon their home and explores the complex relationship between art, memory and the longing for a homeland now fragmented by war. The Aya Gallery on London's Fulham High Street is dedicated exclusively to Iraqi art. It is owned by Maysaloun Faraj. People think running a gallery is beautiful work. It is beautiful. It's inspiring to be in this space. But at the same time, it's a lot of hard work. Today, Maysaloun is getting ready for an upcoming exhibition featuring the work of two Iraqi artists. One of them is Hana Malallah. <laughs> Hana has only been in London for a few months and her work has never been seen here before. No, I can I can bring out the original forms if you like. This is what we wrote. Game of destruction, uh, Iraq fla flag, hey. fragmented one. Is hey. this the one? I want it. And it's not straight. So that one's done. Hi. An ineffective game, 180 by 80, these. Come on. Hey. So this one is ineffective. No, no, no. Hi, work out. Hi, work out. The idea behind this book is the circular design of Baghdad. It's a circle. Al Mansour, the founder of Baghdad, drew a circle around the city using burnt cotton to make sure it's round. Baghdad has many layers of history. It's a very ancient city, and there's always a part of Baghdad that's burning, layer by layer. That's the circle. I worked on this freely, and there's something here that's important to me. This is Baghdad. This title, the name Baghdad, is handwritten in fire, so it came out of Baghdad's fire. May Saloon still has a lot to do before the opening night. Rashad Salim, the other artist in the show, has yet to deliver most of his work. Yesterday we've been tidying up in preparation for receiving uh, Rashad Salim's work. Most of Hana's work we have received and we've hung most of that. Um, but we are expecting to receive Rashad Salim's work and we've allocated spaces for that. Rashad Salim is far from ready for the opening night. I'm three weeks behind schedule. I've lost somehow three weeks. There's just so much. But obviously, in the end of the day, it's how much comes out of and is fixed and is shareable. Rashad is half Iraqi, half German. Unlike Hana, he spent most of his life away from Iraq. So, have you got a plan? Or you're, you're oh, Plan wide. <laughs> I need an army for my plan. <laughs> so how many 
many works do you think you'll be preparing for the exhibition? Don't ask me that question. <laughs> <laughs> I've, got a, I've got a long list. I've got a long list. What do you remember of Baghdad? What is it to you? Many things at different times of, uh, I mean, I was there during my period of my teens. Mm. All sorts of things. But the text Going up on the roof, sleeping on, at night on the, on the, you know. Many things. The fact that it's so many, 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 many. Smells. What smells? Uh, wet dust. You know. This is art I've never done before. You know. Using things I've never used before. Just in the same way that uh, the situation in, in Baghdad is a situation that we've never experienced before and we need to find a solution. And then one has to watch out for the dust. One else always has to take care of the dust. This one is mirror dust. The mirror dust can be quite toxic. Meisaloun is still waiting for most of Rashad's works to arrive. The exhibition opens in just two days. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullah. So, have you brought any work with you today? No, it's not in China. Okay. But it's all coming up very well. Right. Mm. And I and I don't like to put pressure on, but. I just needed uh, the, I don't know whether this would be possible to get the information about the artworks. I've done this place with uh, um, Aynu Sabah, mm -hmm. Aynu Sabah mm -hmm. with, uh, and uh, Nejum Sudafi. Okay. Okay. okay, so if, we can, if you can aim to finish this and if we can put it in position before you leave. Zain, Ani, Ani, Brai. Although you say it is very connected, Akid Bil Map, but I feel aesthetically it looks better pushed back. Okay. One of the things that I like about this yes, map, yes. that I love about this map, yeah. then, is lost. I really prefer it centered to pushed back. Now it feels like a bit of furniture. No, before yeah. it felt like a bit of furniture. Now, with your piece on top, it'll feel like a piece of art. Trust me. Let's just put the, uh, the, the wooden piece and drop the lights on it. That's it. And then the lights are made to put it on something. Shall we put that piece on? No, I think we should push it all the way back. OK, if you want to do that, yani. <coughs> Actually, I actually have to do some. There's just so much to do. Maisaloon herself is an artist. The best years of my life were spent in Iraq. The best years, the most beautiful memories I have are in Iraq. And that is carried with me till the day I die. We used to sleep on the roof in the summertime, um, in the evenings, and you're literally under the sky, under the stars, and the moon is shining there. And it's so beautiful. Everything about Baghdad was beautiful. This is in continuation of a series of works that I started at the beginning of the war on Iraq. Um, a whole uh, collection of works which I called uh, Weeping Palms, Stolen Childhoods. Each of those paintings um, was a tribute to the Iraqi woman for her ongoing struggle. You know, each palm tree, I gave a name of an Iraqi woman. So I had one painting called Zainab, one Fatima, one 
um, Munira <clears throat> because they've had to endure so much. Um, are they women that you knew or know? Uh, many of them are women that I knew. Neighbors, friends, my aunts, um, cousins, and uh, each one had a story. The, the palm tree for me is like a mother. You know, she's there looking over, somehow protecting, somehow providing shade, nurturing those around her. And it touches me deeply, just as I see, you know, scenes of, of Iraqis being killed or tortured or, you know, to see the date palm in the background. She really is so tired. I try to capture those, those stolen dreams. We'll be back with more from these artists in exile after the break. Mm -hmm.